changing the coverage from you, know, you guys playing a lot of press man last year to doing more cover three and stuff this year? How do you feel like that went the first week? I think it was good the first week. Uh, we got a chance to uh, really get our eyes on the quarterback, uh, make a lot of plays on the ball. And uh, I think you get, you avoid uh, receivers running you off because when you play so much press man, they just start to run you off. And uh, it also saves your legs over the course of the game. What's the biggest change for you in that scenario? Uh, I think the biggest change is I'm able to uh, kind of display my speed more, uh, my ability to break on the ball. When, when you were being recruited, did they talk a lot about press man? Was that kind of part of the enticement to get you to come here? Because that's obviously something maybe that at the next level they're looking at. Um, I know Coach Combs, uh, he kind of stressed that the philosophy at Ohio State was that we're going to press a lot because it just kind of translates to the NFL. They want DBs that are able to press. But uh, just kind of the way that game is moving with the spread offenses, I know that being able to mix in some zone is also good. Jeff, I know that Damon has a cast on his hand, so that might explain this, but does he still get a hard time for dropping that pick thrown his way? He gets a hard time. Just because <laughs> he, was, he was by himself, so I'm, I'm going to give him a hard time, but I know he's going to give himself a hard time. It's all good. And you talked, I think, early in training camp about just the mentality that he's had coming back to work this season. How's that showing up? You know, he's got one game under his belt. And, what is he playing like on the practice field for you guys as well? I think he's, he's really bringing a lot of energy to the defense. Uh, I know he missed one practice during fall camp, and it, just, it didn't feel the same. So I think what he does really well is uh, give the defense a lot of energy and guys feed off of uh, him. And uh, he even pushes the offensive guys because he's just so competitive. And, that, and they kind of want to go at him because he's just talking so much smack. <laughs> and Coach Halfley talked about how maybe you guys were a little more basic with the, the play calls and the game plan on Saturday just when the score got out of hand. How much more is there that you guys can show or more stuff you can add to this defense as you go along? Uh, I, I would say that I think the way our defense is is kind of based on the simplicity. So I don't know if it's necessarily anything else more that we can show, but uh, I think it's about the things that we're doing right now and just getting better at them week by week. Yes. You all collectively wanted to make a point, I think, in this first game. You talked quite a bit about that in the buildup about uh, their growth as a group. You get yeah. nine starters back, and you all had to grow up a little bit. Yeah. What What do you think you put on the field Saturday that showed some some of that growth? I, th I think we played a really good first half. Uh, I know Coach Halfley was telling us that uh, that was one of the best first halves of defense that he's seen. But I think the next step is to be able to go four quarters and uh, really just show that the Silver Bullets are back. You had a deflection in the first half where you got a, a ball thrown to the sideline. You got your hand in there, knocked it down, and you popped up. And it, it looked like there was something something that you'd, that'd been, you'd been like hunting for that. Um, can you explain that that sensation and what that kind of represents and the work you all put in this offseason? I think it just felt good to be back in the show uh, playing in front of uh, all those fans. And uh, I, th I think the first game of the season is really uh, just a lot of energy. So I was just feeding off the energy from the sideline, from the fans, from the bullets, all that. Yes, yes. you know it's oh, – go ahead. It's okay, buddy. No, no, I, I like you. You're okay. No, I was just going to ask you about Cincinnati. When, you, when you're getting ready to play a team that has this a dual threat quarterback, uh, they can throw it enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and they run it really well. Um, what's your analysis so far on, on their threat and what you might have to do to counter that? Well, I think Cincinnati is a really good team. They're going to play uh, really tough. I think it's going to be a, a game that's won on toughness. So, I mean, I know they have a lot of pride with uh, being uh, an Ohio team, but we have a lot of pride too. So I'm interested to see how that all plays out. Do you think your team that will, I know a lot of teams probably do, but they will take some shots downfield. They're sort of a pounded and then try to go over the top sort of a team. You what? Do you think they're sort of like a they want to pound the ball and then go over the top kind of a team? I mean, I, I think they're going to take their shots on the field, but I, I mean, every team will. Uh, so it's up to us to play with good technique and uh, get our eyes around and make plays on the ball. Why do you think in the first game you guys did a pretty good job of limiting big plays? That was kind of an issue last year, 20, 30-yard chunk plays. But first game you guys did a pretty good job of limiting those. Why do you think that was? I think we've emphasized running to the football all fall camp. So our pursuit to the football really helps eliminate it because you make one guy miss and it's someone else right there. He misses someone else right there. So it's kind of like a swarm to the football. I mean, you're not going to make all 11 guys miss unless you're like Barry Sanders or something. Not like Barry Sanders. So. <laughs> yeah, there were a few plays in the first half where you fought off blocks and darted into the backfield and you know, hit them like we haven't really seen you hit somebody, I feel like. And I, I know that it's been a progression Freshman year, you just wanted to get on the field. Last yeah. year, you're getting your bearings. But like, is this year, you're? Do you feel like a different player from an attitude perspective, from a confidence perspective? I mean, are you? Have you arrived to where you know you can really do some stuff? Uh, I wouldn't say I arrived. I think I'm just getting better and just more confident in my abilities. Uh, 
really worked hard with Coach Mick this offseason to get my strength up. So when you're able to go out there and just not worry about your strength or my shoulder, it's just going out there and playing full speed. And that's what I, I'm just going to just need to be able to keep doing that every week consistency. A couple more questions you get, for Jeff. When you guys just reviewed the film this week, what was your overall takeaways on how the defense performed in week one? Is there anything you guys have been emphasizing trying to do better for week two? Finish. I mean, if you start, I mean, I think they had at one point negative 16 yards maybe going to halftime. So, I mean, for them to end up with, I think, maybe 200 plus yards, it just kind of shows that we didn't finish the way we started. And that's what we, that has to be the goal. I mean, if we, we have negative 16 at halftime, they got to have negative 16 in the game. What are the keys to that? What are the things you guys have to do differently so that you are able to play as well at the end of the game as you do at the beginning? Attention to detail. So, uh, and also uh, when the twos come in, there can be a drop off. I mean, I think uh, Coach Johnson said, uh, I mean, if you win step on the field, you're a silver bullet. So it doesn't matter if you're a two or a three, it's an expectation that you have to maintain when you're on the field. Hey, Jeff, when you, uh, when you're on the